Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, it is acrylic pouring for beginners, aka coffee with Tish. That's me. Hello. And I got my Java right here. And today we are going to finish off these coasters. Um, I try and do them in batches because I don't want to mix up just teeny tiny amounts. Um, and I've got some other things lined up as well. So if I have some extra, we can do some fun stuff. So um, <clears throat> I've already wiped the surfaces with alcohol just to get any dust or because we do have a dog and a cat, but they're in the main part of the house. So um, they're not allowed here, but you know, that stuff still carries on your clothes. And, you know, we have our own dust and dander that we, we have so um, they're all clean and dry and ready to resin. Um, I did not tape off the backs because what I do is um, um, I will once I put my two coats on um, of poly and then I put two coats of resin on there and um, if there's any lumps or bumps I'll go back with a heat gun and a razor blade or um, if there's a lot I'll just flip them over on a towel and hit it with my orbital sander. So um, that is the last step. And that's how you guys can take it on your own and finish it how you want to finish it. But let me get a drink of my coffee here. And move it out of the way so I don't get resin in it. But I wanted to show you really super quick. Um, the cork backing that I use on my posters. Um, I tried a different brand this time, and they're they're fairly thin, which is okay by me because we'll just steal it. You know, you've got the the width of the coaster already. Um, I'm hoping that there's going to be enough over pour of resin to make up the difference because you can see if I line this up perfectly on one edge or on these two edges, there's that little tiny bit. Of, of play area. So I'm hoping that there will be enough resin. So these are new ones for me. We're going to try these out. We're going to see how they're sticky. Um, and that is going to be another video or live. I haven't decided yet. So anyway, um, I got these on Amazon. I think they were like $15 for 110 or something, maybe 18. So very nominal cost. Um, as far as adding to the cost of the resin and the paint and the tile itself. Because for me, when I'm calculating my pricing, I figure out what, what you know, my most expensive paint is, my most expensive pouring mediums are, and I figure it out down to the ounce, you know, down to um, each ounce, and then I figure out how much goes on each tile, each painting, and, I know for a square inch how much it costs me. And I then I mark in my overhead and all that other stuff. And then that's how I charge for these. So it's just more of a business way of doing it. If you're doing these as a hobby or as gifts, you don't really need to worry about that. Um, and we'll, you know, if, if you want to go into more detail um, as to how I figure out my pricing, because I used to do it for my candles and my soaps. And even my cakes. So um, I, I, I just applied the same principles to this medium. Okay. So let's see if chat is going to work for me today. Because last night chat was not working in StreamYard. And I had to pull up YouTube. And YouTube was even being a pill. So <laughs> it's just... Technology does not like me lately. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> so, good morning, Doris. Good morning, Lady Mist. Hello, Jeff B. Good to see you. Hello, Tracy. Good to see you as well. And Laura, good morning. Good morning. And Candace is here as well. And good morning, Andy. Well, it's afternoon for you almost, ain't it? You're like six hours ahead. Great to see you. I am going to catch one of your lives, damn it. And Jan is here too. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
I don't have any sound effects because that's all over on the other side. So good morning, Positive Candor. Good to see you as well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hello for those lurkers out there. Good to see you as well. You know, pop in the chat, say howdy, howdy. And, you know, I'd love to know that you're there and what you think of the stream. And you know what? If you're loving the vibe of this little artsy thing going on here and want to join a creative tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe, hit the notification bell because we go live just about every single day and we have fun doing it. Lots of laughs, lots of craziness. Today, though, is kind of... A little bit more laid back and mellow. Um, Michael is busy today, so um, I am on my own. <laughs> that's why you get the little intro, because that's my chance to make sure I got everything in order and everything's running okay. And then I hop on over to the other side, the art side, <laughs> and do that. So let's get down to this. Let me show you really super quick. I, I grabbed my black cast and craft. Um, color. So if there's a little bit left, we're going to mix some black in it. And then I made, I found this mold. It's a silicone mold made by Wilton. And I left it over there. Okay. Grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. I knew I had, see, I set things out for me to grab and bring over here, but then I forget. So here's the mold that I got at Walmart. This was $5. And I figured, well, for $5, if I wreck it or something goes amiss, but it's silicone, it's not hard plastic. And I took um, some of the interference purple from Illumidust, non-toxic, you know, beautiful stuff. Um, and this I got from Stone Coat. And I, I dusted the inside of the cavities, just a few of them. And um, a few of them I left because I'll put the black in there just straight up and then I'll go over the black um, resin pieces with um, some like liquid gold or something. I don't know. I just wanted to make a few pieces for, I, I'll probably make these into the bigger ones into magnets. And then um, the smaller ones I'll use for uh, uh, some mixed media art that I have kind of going off in my head right now. So that's what I have prepped for the leftover resin, if we have any leftover. If not, I might just mix them up and play. So um, uh, today I am using Stone Coat Art Coat um, that I bought from Artist Till Death. And um, Erica is awesome, um, great businesswoman, very prompt in delivery and answering any questions I had. And I was really, um, I was really happy with her. So um, absolutely order through her. I got, well, the reason why, you know, I realized I could have ordered through Stone Coat, but I wanted to get some of the chameleon colors and um, some other stuff that she has going on on her, on her website, her and Just website. Um, so I figured, well, I'm going to pay shipping for Stone Coat and I'm going to pay shipping for Erica, the artist till death. So I might as well just order it all from one place and pay a lower price on ship, you know, pay one shipping charge. So that's kind of how I do that. Plus she's a small business and I'd rather give my business to a small business. So hi, Clara. Yes, I'm playing with resin sort of. <laughs> We're going to um, open these guys up and this is Part A. I don't know why I opened Part A first. That was kind of dumb. Oh well. We're just going to go with it, right? And, you know, here's the other reason why I've been hesitant to play with resin. Um, I left my resin. I have a resin um, torch. At, but I left it at the apartment in Anoka. So, let's get these off of here. And these gloves are ginormous. Okay, so if I if you see me like fumbling, <laughs> it's because my finger is like literally. Here's my finger. <laughs> so, um, but I love these gloves. These are the Venom gloves, and I love these because they're soft on the insides and they're nice and thick, and you know, it's all good. So we're gonna pour eight ounces of B and eight ounces of A. And that'll be enough to cover all the coasters and 
um, and maybe have a little bit left over to put into those molds. So here we go. Um, I'm not real good at pouring stuff, it seems. And this, I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. Hang on. I go down on my knee. I can't just bend over and see straight. All right. So there is eight ounces. And wipe the edge off. Go. Put the lid up. That's A. Put the right lid on. I suppose it wouldn't really matter, but I already marked the A lid with A. So, <laughs> and we're going to do resin next. So, A into B. And you know what's kind of funny in my head? I think A into B, I think arrow. Because A looks like an arrow, and it shoots into B. That's kind of how I do it in my head. Because for the longest time, I could never remember. Because, you know, I'm me. So, I'm going to wipe this off. It's not dribbling down the side. That's what she said. Put the lid on that, and then we're going to put these over here. Ooh, out of the way. There we go. Thank you, Tracy. I I'm loving the coasters. I I've only had to I've only had four that didn't turn out the way I wanted them to, and now we're gonna get a new towel. Well, this one can go in the garbage. He's got resin all over it. We're gonna get a new towel. And before I forget and get all sticky with resin, we're going to make up a towel with just some alcohol on it. I'm just squirting some of this in there. And there we go. And I know I realize some of it's probably going to evaporate, but that way that's ready. This is my polyacrylic. Um, stick that I was using to stir up my polyacrylic so it's nice and sealed and nice and clean I wiped that down too and we're going to use that to stir and that way it's not straight wood into the um, into the resin so hopefully less bubbles I've done this one other time too and I never I didn't have a problem with it um, I got some um, stir sticks from ATD as well. They were part of the whole um, um, I do this right. It just seems really thick. Yeah, eight and eight is 16. So yeah, I am I marked where I don't know if you can see it, but I marked the the pot where I needed it to be. It just seems really thick to me. Maybe it's because it's cooler in here than it was in my apartment. <laughs> my apartment's like 80, 85 degrees. And it's like 70, I'd say 73 or 74 in here right now. So, but um, stir, 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 not fold. And scraping the sides and the bottom. And um, stir until there's no bubbles. And or wispies. I should have turned on that other light. Too late now. I'm sorry you had a bad, rough night, Jan. <laughs> Hey, kind of a rough night too. When I, I I have to remember that when I drink tequila, I have really weird dreams, and they're weird, like talking heads, kind of weird. Not the band, but just like like heads that are disembodied and they're talking to me. 
So I'm going to give this a few more scrapes and a few more stirs. I don't see any wispies. There's a few bubbles, but not as bad as if I would have used just a regular wood stick. And I do, that's probably part of my problem with resin is I get very heavy handed on how I stir. I stir very fast. And I'm trying to like in my head, slow, 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 take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Um, one thing I'm going to see if I can find too is um, it, I have a couple of silicone spatulas that are that I bought at Walmart that I started using with resin and they were great and um because I got little stir sticks these are just little guys um so they'll work for little cups but for this big cup it's not so happy so what I'm going to do and this is how I do it because um I'm when I'm new to resin and I work a little slower than most people. So, all right, let's hold this up and see if we see any wispies. Don't see any more wispies. I think we're good. Give it one more minute. Oh, oh no. I know you're going through your treatments. And, and I would, <laughs> I'd much rather have my weird dreams from tequila. I love you, darling, though. Miss Jan. I, I, you know, my heart goes out to anybody undergoing any kind of treatment for anything. You know, my friend is still, my friend Su uh, Susie is still in the hospital, still undergoing her treatment for COVID. So no, you're not alone. You know, there's, there's hundreds of people, thousands of people having to have treatments for this or that or the other thing. And, you know, I always say there's always, if you think you have it bad, there's always, always someone who has it worse. So <clears throat> Quit feeling sorry for yourself. That's why I. That's how I talk to myself. I'm not saying you, Jen. I'm just saying that's how I say. It. That's how I get it in my head. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring these forward because I'm I'm gonna work from the back to the front because that way. Okay, I should have all the wires out of the way. That way, um, I know what I'm I'm doing sort of. Okay, so I'm just gonna put. A small pool because I'm going to do um, I only I only pour on as many as I can get to in a few minutes so this isn't that one isn't quite level I can tell that now because it's pouring off okay so this is what I do grab this one and put that one there so Take this and I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm just going to move it about and I let it drip onto this other one. That way I'm not wasting any resin. Okay. Move it out. <laughs> I, I can't really feel what I'm doing and it's really kind of weird feeling. <laughs> It's like, now I know how guys feel when they have to wear a condom. Can't feel anything. Oh, well, yeah. So I'm just going to just gently slide it over the edge. Make sure I get those edges, too. Okay. Go. There. And... Same thing. And then you just kind of go through it. And then once I get a whole row done, I'll take off my gloves. And because these gloves are big enough where I can put take them on and off. Okay. 
And it's kind of funny because this is how I used to do my cookies. Like I do uh, roll out cookies and then I do them all, dip them all in icing and then decorate them. And this is how I would do my cookies. Because I like my icing to drip over the edge because one, it seals the cookie so it doesn't dry out. And two, it just looks, I think it looks prettier, more pretty, prettier. Jeez, watch your English dish. Okay, all the edges. Now we need to move these over. Let's get this one. We're going to scrape this up. Big puddle right there. Little puddles don't bother me so much, but the big puddles, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, so we're going to take this, spread it out. And I'm working fairly quickly because um, I'm going to do a second coat. So um, I just want to get it as even as possible. It is self-leveling, so it'll level itself out as well. But I want to get to the fun stuff because this is this is kind of mundane and boring. But it, 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 I don't know if you can tell the difference already. So that one. This one, this one, whoops, listen here, mister, go on there, that big, I'm making a mess, yay, messes, let me grab this one, now, we're going to take this one and we're going to just spread this out. And that's all the excess from the other ones. So very little waste. There. Well, thank you, Trey, for donating $2. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you for hanging out with me. And I appreciate every dollar that comes in and helps me keep doing the things that I love to do. Right? There's a bubble right there, so we're going to stab it. There's that. We're going to grab one more. And that will be our over, our overspray, so to speak. Okay, and we're going to take some of that off my fingers. And there. Oh yeah, hey, I need to torch those. So I'm just gonna pull these gloves off and lay them right here. But what I do is I kind of hang on to this <laughs> and then use that to help me pull this one off. So if you have big hands and you actually fill these gloves, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have little hands. That's so funny about me. I'm five foot eleven, and my daughter, who is five foot two, her hands are about the same size as mine. But I didn't want to get resin all over my porch, so we're just gonna go over these really quick. Pop in the air bubbles. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Okay, is this sticky? Yeah, that's already sticky. Bam. Well, thank you, Jeff B., for that wonderful $2 donation. I am grateful for you. You guys just sneaking in there on me. I, you know... I, 
I sent out a uh, post yesterday on Facebook. Um, that was all my achievements from July. And, you know, sometimes I don't realize just how much you guys help me out, you know, financially, but just even coming to the channel and hanging out with me. I mean, I hit 5,000 hours last month. And, you know, to me, that's amazing. That's a thousand hours of your guys' time that you come and spend with me. And it's wonderful. You know, time is something that you spend and, and you can't earn back. You know, and that's why I think I'm the most blessed person to have the most wonderful people that take the time come hang out with me. So thank you for your financial donation and thank you for your time. All right, that one's pretty good. Set that one down right there. Try not to touch the other one. You can see I spaced them out pretty far apart. I could have put them closer together, but I decided not to. And you can use, they make silicone spreader things and you can use that. You can use whatever tools you want, but I'm always of the notion that the best tools you have are your own two hands and your brain. That's, you know, it's like the best thing ever. So Yes, I'm getting mess messy, but I have two layers of paper and a layer of plastic and uh, on top of my acrylic pouring area because I only brought one board with me, which is kind of silly on my part. But um, it is what it is. Oh, that is just, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, Becky. <laughs> All right, so let's move this around. Pop any major bubbles right away. And scrape off the glove onto the edge. Same, waste not, want not, right? All right, there we go. this over and these are just um, like Dixie style cups um, from the dollar store I like these better than like the paper Dixie cups one because they're a little bit more sturdy and two um, they um, have a coating on them that I can actually peel the paint off of sometimes and reuse them I know that sounds really, really silly. I mean, I get like 20, I think they're like five cents a piece or something like that, you know. But, you know, when you throw away, you know, three a day and over every day for the course of the year, that's a little bit of money, you know. And I don't think being frugal is a bad thing. getting a little bit thicker because it's cool in here so I gotta remember move fast move fast okay I got all this stuff all right so let's torch those Pull this off there we go so I'm just grabbing it with the palm basically there we go Lay them out so I can put my hands back in them. Hey, Jelly Duck. It's good to see you. Hello, Kate. Good to see you as well. All right, torching's really quick. Pop any bubbles. Heat this up a little bit. There we go. Put the 
the gloves back on. Da, 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 da. Hey, that's no bueno. Oh, I just got resin inside my glove. That's okay. We like to walk on the wild side. All right, so now that we're getting a little thicker and it's not running off, we're just going to put a little dab on each one of these and move quick. Like I said, I only like to pour a little bit what I can work, you know, four or five, what I can do in a couple of minutes. Um, the reason why I do this, is especially if you're new to resin and you're not real handy with it like me, um, <laughs> I, I didn't move fast the first time I was doing it and I poured all the resin out on all the tiles and I ended up losing a couple of tiles because the resin set up before I could get it smoothed out. And it's like, dude, what did I just do? So, all right, we need a little bit more resin on this guy. So just pour on three, you know, two or three, you know, and until you get a rhythm going and know how fast you can work because you don't want to do, you don't want to pull a tish, okay? go. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna grab this little bit of resin that's wanting to roll off. There we go. But um, yeah, so don't, don't think you can get them all done in, in, you know, especially if you're doing mass mounts. I was doing, I did like 30 coasters. I had my six foot table full, full of coasters and I lost like five of them. Um, because I tried to torch it and I ended up hitting the polyacrylic and it was just, yeah, it was a mess. That was last summer when I was first starting out how to do these. So we're going to just put the excess on the next one because it's not really dripping all that much now that it's set up. It's, it's getting a little bit thicker. Okay. Edges. go. I'm going to move these two so we have a spot to put these. Okay. And I'm still using like the, <laughs> I'm using the ends of the glove um, because it's just kind of like loose and I'm using it kind of like a paintbrush, I guess, and just moving it back and forth. And once we get the edges, set that one down right there. I'm going to do that over here. And I think I'll torch all these at the end here at the same time. So we'll just bring those other ones forward, get the edges, one, two, three, four, there we go. All right, let's bring these forward. I'm excited to see these ones. These ones I did off camera, just these are, these, these two purple ones are um, are these, no, these are part of a, a pour, but they were just me having fun. All right. So, oh, we got a lot on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I poured 16 ounces of <clears throat> Let's do this one first because he's really full. Um, I poured 16 ounces of resin total, and I've got what? 6, 12, 18, 
um, coasters. So you can, um, and I'm going to have a, a, quite a bit left. So we'll see what we get. There we go. Like I said, I do very thin coats um, just to get that, that paint sealed. And then I'll, um, I seal these with satin polycrylic and um, I don't use the gloss. Um, I haven't had any problems with the one because I, here's my thing is I tested everything um, before I even gave them away because I don't want my name to go on something awful. You know, I want people to, to um, know that they're going to get a quality product. And this is how I've done the coasters that I have at home. And if anybody, if y'all don't know me, I'm a klutz. And I'm good at breaking things. I'm good at wrecking things. I'm also very good at fixing things. So it kind of balances out. But um, I'm going to grab this one too. So actually, I've got some more coasters over there. We're going to finish those ones off too. And then I've got enough resin to do those as well. So let's do those. Um, those are all clean as well. I did them all at one time. That's kind of how I do it. But anyway, um, I used the satin. I did not stain. I did not sand it, but I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol before I poured on it. And I've had them for um, a little over a year. And I've spilled on them. I've washed them. I've done all kinds of things to them, and no resin has lifted. And it's the stone coat art coat, and the colors haven't faded. Um, I did break a couple of them though because I dropped them. So yeah, I don't have them anymore. Um, that's why when people give me stuff, I stick it away because it's like, okay, I'll use this when, when it's a special occasion because <laughs> I break stuff. I break stuff. I'm really good at breaking stuff. My dad would say, yeah, you're good at breaking beer bottles and hearts. And I'm like, okay, dad. <laughs> Not really a heartbreaker, but that's okay. All right, so we got this one. Let's move this one over here. And we'll save that one. I'm going to go grab those other coasters that I have. We're going to... Um, Shuffle these around a little bit because I need to have them closer. All right. <laughs> the resin is quality stuff. Drop proof? Yeah, not so much. I am a klutz. Okay, so I'm going to get a new pair of gloves. We're just going to get rid of these guys. So it's all right. Um. Let's torch these ones. Let's see. I'm going to start that one. I think that's a little bit. I'll do this one just like this. And then as they cure, I'll come back and torch them one more time, maybe even a second time. So they'll get torched a total of three times. Just as any air bubbles come up, you can take care of them. There we go. And I've got six over there, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need two more cups, which are over here. Oop. It is to pick these up without really touching them. <laughs> it's like, okay, what am I doing here? Okay, we're just gonna stack them on top of each other. Okay. So, I'm gonna keep them kind of far apart for now. Doesn't on my thumb. There we go. 
want to try and leave some space. So, okay, I'm going to put these two up here. I'll grab those. So, just need one more cup. There we go. All right. Ooh, vanilla chai tea. Yum, Jan. That sounds amazing. Am I wearing a mask? No. Is there an odor with stone coat? Not that I have ever had happen. This is a huge room. This is probably 15 by 25, one big room. So um, I feel safe using this a little bit amount without a respirator. I have never, okay, so there are, I'm gonna talk and um, do this real quick, but um, there are resins that I have used a respirator, and I'm talking a respirator, not just a face mask, a re honest to goodness respirator. And the off gassing, even with a window open, fans and the two box fans stacked up on top of each other, fans blowing air out. And I, you know, waited to take my mask off, but they just off gassed so heavily. It was insane. And I was like, okay. Um, I need to do something different here because I would get migraines from the off gassing and I was just like, okay, I need to do a different brand. And that's when, um, Stone Coat came out with Art Coat and I'm like, okay, this is really expensive, but I'm going to try it. And I love it. It's amazing. I don't, I get migraines really easy, like Krylon spray paint migraine. Not from Rust-Oleum, but Krylon. Yep, no bueno. So, um, I just stay away from those things. But this art coat, I, I don't get a headache. I don't get a migraine. Yes, you probably should be wearing PPE, um, but I wear glasses all the time, so my eyes are pretty safe. <laughs> and, I guess I'm good. I feel I'm good. This one is not quite level. I think there's a glob underneath there. Okay, so let's get these spread out really fast because it is getting thicker now. And I um, want to get it out of the big pot so it doesn't get hard on me. But I wanted to get these all done today. And then later, first like first thing tomorrow morning, um, I will sand these a little bit to scuff up the surface and do a second coat and then um, and go from there. Okay, so this one can get pushed over just a little bit. Let's get this guy. This is when I like, this is how I like it. This is nice and thick. This is like royal icing thick. And this is where I feel like I can move the fastest because I'm not fighting with it. I'm just applying it. And paint brushes, just to make sure we get all of that out. I'm going to scooch this over. There we go, because I want to have a little bit of space. So I can do those molds because I'm going to have just, I think I'm going to have just enough to do it. So I'm going to put it in a different cup because I want some clear. I'm going to put, I don't know, we'll see. Go make sure we get the sides. We've got one, two, three, four. Five. There's that one. I love Earl Grey tea, Jan. Yes, resin does self level. At least this brand does. There is one out there. I don't even remember where I got it. It was like probably three or four years ago. 
um, that I tried and man, that was the lumpiest, clumpiest. That was like bargain basement pricing. And I don't even remember the brand, so don't ask because <laughs> I don't remember. I was like, my first experience was with Risen was me crying and a migraine and <laughs> just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I hate Risen. I'm just not going to do this anymore. But yeah, no, I figured it out. Okay, I think this one has two. Yeah, it does have two. That's okay. All right, let's do this one really quick. Oops, let's grab this one. Bring that down so we can. Sides. Always make sure I get the sides really well because that's where the um, most, you know, when they're going to do damage to these, it's going to be on the edges, you know, because they drop them together and, you know, they slide them across the table and they clink into each other, whatever, you know. I just think of, okay, what would a five-year-old do with these, you know, <laughs> in my head? Because that's, that's where, you know, that's where my brain goes it's like okay what would a kid do with these because some adults act like kids that's why that one's too higher too that one's higher is because um it's got two cups all right i think you know what i think we're just going to put the black right in here i am going to pull the stick out though maybe i don't know we'll just use the stick Probably going to end up in the garbage anyway. All right. Got these two. All right, smoochy, smoochy. Edges. And I'm wiping my glove off on the edge here as I'm doing these. You know, taking that little bit that's on my glove. that move that in I'm gonna have like just a little tiny bit of space okay here we go we're gonna do this over this so if it does drip at least I can there we go Paintbrush, paintbrush, and edges. There we go. Put that down there. I'm going to take off the gloves so we can. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. I got so much resin on my hands, I can't get it off. There we go. There we go. There's one. I'm just going to use this. Because I can't get a grip on it. Because I have just a tiny spot of resin on the palm of my, on the back side of the palm of my hand. Just that little tiny bit is making the whole glove stick. Darn. Nap it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Then I'll, this is why I don't like gloves. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So I've got this casting craft. I'm gonna shake this up and grab my mold, which is on the counter behind me here. So I'm gonna put this right here. So I have it handy, and I didn't want to get resin all over this, so I'm gonna put. Good size spooge in there. Hopefully that's enough. 
We're going to torch these ones really super fast. It's fun to, you can see the little bubbles, they go pop, 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 There we go. All right. I'm gonna rip this towel in half and use the towel and the stir stick. Stir this up. Yes, we got lots of bubbles, but I think we put a little bit more in there. There we go. All right, we're starting to get, I'd say probably the thickness of, of maple syrup. Okay, let's see, I don't want to put those, yeah, we'll put them right there. I don't want to put them with my, my acrylic pouring towels, I guess. All right. There we go. This is why I hate gloves. Can't feel anything. All right, we're just going to, I'm just going to go for it. We're just going to set it right in the resin. It'll come up, right? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna fill the cavities that have um, that have the um, mica in them first, and then I'll go back and fill the other ones. Whoop! That one got a little full. Okay, we'll just scrape off the excess. I try and underfill first, let it settle. Hit it with the torch. See, I'm used to having music playing <laughs> when I do stuff like this. I'm going to have to find another mold. I think I brought my other molds.
Um, I'm just gonna throw these away because I think I put a hole in that one. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I got any more molds. Goodness gracious. Let's see. You know what? I only dropped this stupid candy one. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try it. Brought all my stencils with. Alright, let's do this really quick. Probably gonna wreck this, but I only paid 50 cents for it, so it's okay. So we're gonna take I'm gonna take this um, interference purple and I'm just gonna dust these really quick because I don't know what kind of other lube I can use. So we're just gonna dust them really fast to kind of help be a mold release. I don't know, if it doesn't work, I'll just pitch it. It's okay. It's, I've seen people use these molds, so. I bought these for experimentation purposes anyways, so I got them at Hobby Lobby on clearance for 50 cents. So, and they have these cool little filigree uh, flu fleur de lis, that's what it's called. So we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this really fast. And I'm just using a paintbrush just because that's what I had handy. And it got into the nooks and crannies of that other mold, so off we go. And I'm going to grab um, I need to put these on. I'm running out of counter space. So, now that we got these all dusted, kind of haphazardly, but still, it's an attempt, albeit a vain one, probably. Love you, Clara. Thank you for stopping by. So you and me are both going to learn here <laughs> if this is going to work or not. A lot in there. Hang on. I'm trying to get some of it out. There we go. There's a lot in that one. Okay. For these other ones. What happens? What's the fun thing about being an artist is you get to play. Just playing is fun. Okay, so I'm gonna grab okay. I'm gonna move the paints off of it first here. Hang on. Do do. I wasn't expecting to have this much left over. Because, you know, they say this, that, and the other thing. This is how much you're gonna need, and not so I made as much as they said I was gonna need. Little tray here. This is just a dollar store tray with parchment paper on it. Okay, and I'm gonna put my gloves on. Good thing I'm going to Menards today. I grabbed some more gloves because I'm almost, I'm almost out of them. There's 12 of them in there, and I've used six. So, all right. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to torch that really quick. Well, since the gloves are clean, I can do that. Hello, Diane. Good to see you. <laughs> it's okay, Diane. Okay, popping bubbles. I 
and you don't want to get too close to the silicone with this guy. All right, see, we're still liquid. Yes, that's what we want to see. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, this is my little trick that I have. I'm actually going to put this on the floor so it doesn't fall onto the floor because Michael would not be happy if he got resin all over his floor. And um, I'm just going to take the stick and smooth it out and fill in any cavities that might be lacking. And with the resin, it just peels right off anyway. And I use my little clipper. Um, you know, maybe I'll do a live on how I clean these up for my furniture and all that. So let's put a little bit of clear on the back side of this one. Let's see if that does anything. Kind of cleaning up. This one needs a little love. I might just drizzle some in there too. Okay, I'm just gonna drizzle a little in there. Come to Tish. Okay, I don't want to drizzle on the in there. In there. Oh, it should be good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is prep this tray. Try not to get resin on the bottom. All right, hang on one second. Okay, edges are okay, bottom is not. So let's put it here. I'm gonna slide, gently slide this guy onto the tray and the parchment. Then I can move him over to the table and not get resin all over my table. Hoping you guys can see at least a little of this. Okay. Here we go. We're just gonna have at it. There's a little bit left in here. I'm just gonna go for it. Up. Oh, my glove even. Oh, I've been drizzling all over the place. This is why I don't do chocolates, because <laughs> I make a mess, but man, it's chocolate and it tastes good, so. Well, filled all those. There's still a little bit of resin at the bottom of this cup, and I'm just going to kind of leave it there because I have no other molds to use. I have another one just like this, but I'd rather, I'd rather not use it. Okay, so we're just going to see. We're going to see if this will work with this mold too. And just do the whole scrapey thing here. Get all smooth. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, like I said, it's 50 cents. It's the price of an experiment. And I'm just going to kind 
to smooth it out like glass because sometimes if I can get this to peel off, um, you can use these for other little projects. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. I don't know. Maybe it'll turn out a disaster. Maybe it won't. You will we'll both be learning at this point. There we go. I'm just going to let that sit now. That's not very level though, so we're going to put this. Where are we going to put this? You know what? I'll just wait a moment. I think that's actually more level. This bottom corner kind of sags down a little bit. And it's a flimsy mold, so anywho. What was that? I missed it. Sometimes, beautiful disaster, sometimes the most sparkle-tastic art. Exactly. Exactly. But see, the thin films and stuff, um, I do it like doing like miniatures and stuff. So sometimes you can, if, the, if it's even enough, you can use it like in a mirror, like a mirror or a piece of glass or something. So, but these are amazing. I'm really happy with them. I did get a hair in that one. And I don't know what happened to my tweezers. <sighs> Things just disappear. So let's see. Maybe I can just flip that. Yep, I got it. Woohoo! Okay. I'm going to torch this guy real quick. There we go. All right. So, um, Join me next week and we'll see how these turned out and you can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on that and my process or learn from my mistakes because this might be a mistake. We'll go over that next Thursday at 930 Central Standard Time, Daylight Savings Time, whatever it is. I can never remember. Um, <laughs> I'm an artist, not an accountant. Okay. Um, tomorrow night, join us here 7 p.m thank you betty i appreciate you um she lets me know that there's things going on 7 p.m though right here on this channel um friday night flip cup with my pal brooke and we have a snorting good time um heather Mater, um heather Mater from heather Mater art is going live tonight if i am correct on that um, please think if Cheryl's still here, show him. I have the link for that. Um, but yeah, join her tonight on her channel. She normally goes Friday, kind of the same time Brooke and I go, but tonight I'm going to make sure I'm there because I love Thursday night lives. So, um, if anybody else has a live, please shout it out. Um, let me know and we'll get to you know, our crew is very supportive of other artists and other creators. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Not that I can think of. I'm going to go um, take care of this mess. <laughs> and I will catch you tomorrow night. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.